how to change hostname or computer name on Ubuntu Linux terminal. So a bit of background, I've just spun up a digital ocean droplet, which is a virtual private server. I've got the Ubuntu 22.04 LTS operating system installed on this cloud server. The droplet's name or the host name was left as default, which DigitalOcean had populated for me. As you can see, the host name of the server is Ubuntu-S-1VCPU-1GB-AMD-NYC. 1-01. When DigitalOcean creates the hostname for you, it basically includes the operating system, which is Ubuntu, the amount of CPUs, the memory or RAM, the type of CPU, which is AMD, and the region, and incorporates all this into the name. Now, if you log into your cloud server via SSH or open up your Ubuntu Linux computer's terminal, you should see the username that you're logged into, which in my case is the root user, and then you can see the hostname of your VPS or your computer name, which as you can see is the same host name that my DigitalOcean droplet has in the DigitalOcean dashboard. To change your host name or your computer's name, we'll need to enter a nano command and edit the host name file. If you're entering the command as a root user like myself, then enter the same as me. However, if you're on a sudo user, make sure you type sudo first and then enter the same command. So the command I'm going to type in here is nano space slash etc slash hostname. Once you've typed in the command nano space slash etc slash hostname, hit enter on your keyboard. I'll put this command in the video description below so you can simply copy it and then paste it into your command line terminal. Once you've entered in the command, you'll be greeted with the nano text editor. Here you should see your host name or your computer's name. So what you're going to need to do is use your arrow keys to get to the very end, like so and then use the backspace button to delete everything that's in there and then type your desired hostname. So for me, I'm just going to type test-server. Once you've chosen a hostname or computer name, you'll need to save the changes you just made to your hostname file. To do this, press Ctrl plus O on your keyboard. Once you've done that, you'll be asked for the file name to write to. As you can see, it's slash etc slash hostname. You don't need to type anything in here, just simply hit enter on your keyboard. Now you've saved the changes to your hostname file. Now what you'll need to do is exit out of the nano text editor. To do this, simply press Ctrl plus X on your keyboard. You'll then exit out of nano. And as you can see, the hostname is still the same as it was previously. So what we'll need to do for the changes to take effect is reboot or restart our system. To do this, simply type the following command, reboot space now. Once you've typed this in, hit enter on your keyboard. If you're using PuTTY as your SSH client, you'll be greeted with a notification from PuTTY which says PuTTY fatal error, remote site unexpectedly closed network connection. That's normal guys, as we have rebooted our VPS. So I'm just going to click on OK here, and then I'm going to close out of my PuTTY terminal window. Now I'm just going to let my VPS reboot. I'm going to give it a full two minutes for it to reboot, and then I'll log back in via SSH. So I'll be back with you guys in two minutes once the time has elapsed. All right, I'm back. It's been around two to three minutes. Now I'm going to log back into my server and check to see if the host name has changed. So first, I'm just going to copy the IP address of my server. I'm going to minimize my browser. I'm going to double click on PuTTY and I'm going to paste in the IP address I just copied into the hostname section of PuTTY. Next, I'm going to click on open and I'm going to maximize my PuTTY terminal window. I'm going to be logging in as root. So I'm just going to type root in here and then hit enter on my keyboard. And then I'm going to enter my drop its password. I've got my password already copied to my clipboard, so all I'm going to do is right click to paste in my password and I'm going to hit enter on my keyboard. Great, I'm now logged into my server via SSH. And now if we look to the bottom left hand corner, you should see the new hostname of your server or computer. Again, as you can see, I'm logged in as root, at, and then my new hostname, which is test-server. Great, so we've successfully changed our server's hostname or our computer name. If you're also running a server like myself, you should also change your server's name in your hosting provider's dashboard to match your server. To do this, just open back up your browser, find your server's name, click on it once, and if you're on DigitalOcean, click on your server's hostname once again at the very top, delete what's currently in there, and then enter the hostname of your server that you just changed. So mine is test-server. Once you've done that, just click the check mark on the right hand side. And there we go, I've now renamed my droplet also. So that pretty much concludes the video on how to change hostname, computer name on Ubuntu Linux Terminal. Also, if you're looking for a cheap Linux server to practice Linux commands in, then I'll put a link in the video description below for DigitalOcean, where you can get $200 in free DigitalOcean trial credits to test out their servers free for 60 days. Again, this link will be in the video description below. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like, comment down below, and most importantly of all, subscribe to support the channel. I'll see you on the next video. Why is it so hard to live?